What's going on guys? Uh, Gomes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. Uh, news on a Sunday. My lord, is that legal? Uh... I'll make it legal, uh, just for today though. News is typically a Monday ordeal, but uh, I had to talk about some things in the game and in game seven last night. Uh, granted, it's probably about the fourth most exciting thing that happened in Tampa yesterday uh, next to Florida man Rob store with a Gatling gun full of gators. Uh, sure, that's probably a headline somewhere in that state. So yeah, big win for the Rays, a fat dubski, uh, you know, Took to game seven. Uh, we were up three to nothing, but we won. Uh, I, I'm sure uh, it pretty much guarantees set in stone that I'm going to be like Mike Brasso, a bald by 26 after all that stress that this series have induced me. But if it means I can bang Hispanics as hard as Brasso did to Chapman, I'll, I'll be just all right. So uh, let's get into this one after you guys leave a like down below. Would appreciate that and subscribe to the channel. On the road to 50,000 again, we're gonna get it, don't know, gonna see, only with your help. Uh, that being said, let's hop real deep, real fast into this one. Uh, as far as content this week goes, uh, self-admittingly, it's not gonna be too crazy. It seems like we're only gonna get one drop all week. Now, there could still be another player program, but uh, I don't think so. We have gotten three at this point already, maybe even four, not sure, at least three. Uh, but we do know championship series cards are gonna be coming in hot, and it seems Seems like we're gonna be getting two per team now uh, this could just be a troll it could just be a I don't know a joke if you want to call it that by SGS but give this tweet a gander right here um, it appears like we might be getting two cards per team which would make sense I don't think they're gonna drop just four that would be a especially if that's all the content we're getting uh, this week I don't think it's just gonna be four cards on Tuesday nothing else the rest of the week uh, so I would expect eight two per team and I do have some predictions so we're gonna throw this uh, opposed to just making it a separate video so uh, the Tampa Bay race now who the hell is gonna get this all right uh, Charlie Morton I think it's probably between him and somehow uh, by some act of God, Mike Zunino also is uh, in contention. I think he had eight hits this series. Don't ask how. Don't ask why. Just be fucking thankful. Um, a pretty big series. Did not expect that out of Big Mike. Uh, if you guys don't get what I'm saying, uh, I'm not a big fan of him. Typically, horrible signing last year, and somehow he had an even worse season this year, uh, I believe. So, kind of happy to see him perform big. It could be Randy Arozarena. I would not be surprised if that were the case. He does already have a 94. Maybe they're going to wait to see if he's going to get uh, the World Series MVP, not just the CS MVP. But if I had to say, I think it's going to be Charlie Morton. I don't think he gave up a single run in the entire uh, championship series. And he was a big reason why the Rays won that, of course, especially last night uh, in Game 7. So moving on to the Astros. Um, all jokes aside, they played a hell of a series. They played us really tight towards the end. And I'll admit, I... It didn't seem like the Rays were up three to nothing. The Astros were hitting the ball pretty goddamn hard. It just found our mix. Game three in particular. Uh, what is it? 71% of the world is covered by water. The other 29% is uh, the Rays defense, which I tweeted before that became viral. I said it about Joey Wendell, but all-encompassing for them. Uh, I think Altuve is pretty much a lock to get a card here. Yep, he already has the 97. Um... I think he's going to get a 99 right here. He had, I think, three home runs. He had the highest OPS by a pretty sizable margin. But if you were not to get it, uh, Brooks Bailey and Lance McCullers. Now, Lance McCullers, interesting. Uh, 0 for 2. <laughs> Uh, he got the loss in Game 7. He was so fucking good, though. I think he had 18 strikeouts and about 10 innings pitched. He was great. Uh, he just gave up four home runs in really untimely times. And the Astros couldn't do a damn thing offensively. So, him, Brooks Raley. I hope. I really hope it's not Brooks Raley. Um, what pitches does he even have? That's actually pretty good. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'm on the Brooks train. Uh, moving on to the Braves. Of course, the Braves Dodgers is still going on. Let me know in the comment section. Perhaps the... This is going to be used for a future giveaway uh, after the World Series is done. Uh, let me know. Who's going to win Game 7 tonight? Dodgers, Braves. I think that's uh, 
tipping, kicking, uh, pitching off at about 7.30. Uh, so the guys, I think, are going to get it right now. Um, for the Braves, if it is two, I would say Albies and either Bryce Wilson or AJ Minter. Um, as far as hitters go, Freddie Freeman's right there, but I think he's going to get a finest. Who knows? Could be postseason. I uh, would not be too shocked. Ozuna's been pretty solid as well, but I think they're going to give it to Ozzy Alice, uh, Ozzy Albies, uh, since he does not have a card yet. And then, uh, yeah, just really good stuff. Bryce Wilson, I think, has that gold prospect card. I don't even know where he is. Uh, I really dislike how he spells the name again with an S. If your parents, please don't do that. It's just weird. Uh, yeah, they're just destined to have their names spelled wrong by every teacher and every classmate to date uh, in school. Uh, so I think Bryce Wilson and then uh, AJ Minter, pretty possible. And for the Dodgers, I think these two are locks. Uh, I don't really give a shit unless somebody hits five home runs tonight. Uh, I think it's almost going to be guaranteed to be Corey Seager uh, and then Walker Bueller, two really exceptional stars. Um, but it could be Mookie Betts. Again, uh, you know, I had to throw in that Mookie Betts joke at some point. So uh, those are who I think that we know what postseason cards you guys would be anticipating. And uh, we also do have the extension into the event that's going to be going a little bit deeper, a little bit further. These cards still going for a fuck ton. 500k for this Gossage. Um, 50 wins. It should be three inning games again. I've not been playing it too much. I'll admit I've been getting pretty deep into Jedi Fallen Order. And uh, Phasmophobia too. Uh, I have a phobia of not playing that game at least once every couple of days. It is so goddamn fun. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I probably sound uh, like I'm a Florida man. Just out of my mind on LSD. Um, anyway, getting into the stuff to come. Uh, we are going to be looking at this clue. I wanted to make a video when Joey Votto came out, but it was a very substandard drop. Not a great card. Not too much to talk about. Thought I'd just throw it here. Uh, 10 30 program. Can't talk about it yet. I'm pretty sure that's talking about finest right there so if you were to look a bit deeper uh, grab your sherlock holmes magnifying glass uh it would seem that's after the postseason being the same day as the world series program comes out um pretty sure it's gonna happen that's gonna be the first couple finest cards and then stage four we're gonna get uh the voting the finest cards i think it's going to work pretty similar uh to how it did last year uh which is uh, kind of like this throw it to this gomes so yeah, let's go ahead and give this a gander right here. This is how the finest cards worked last year. I think it's going to be similar to the fact that there's going to be the voting and there's going to be the locks, you know, the really good guys, uh, just to ensure that they do get a card. Just going to go through the cards that we got last year and you'll see on the bottom, it's fan vote base. Uh, I got to stop saying basically uh, what they did uh, is they had all 30 teams. There was three different choices available and you got to vote. And whoever won the vote, supposedly it was not rigged, uh, although for some, I either think what the fuck are you guys doing voting for them uh or uh I don't, maybe possibly some rigging who knows uh one could say but anyway uh, some great cards regardless and last year they were dropped in a pack uh if you've noticed anything with diamond Dynasty, the trend is they've really been going so uh no money spent friendly so user friendly uh perhaps maybe ea or 2k would want to take a page out of their book uh doubt it but one could hope uh anyway so that's what we've been seeing with potn they eliminated the packs just made it a lot easier to get i think it's gonna work a lot similar this time i think we're gonna see some little locks in the ninth or the tenth inning program uh so three bosses and the three of the henchmen and then maybe we'll see a little other program something else to get the top cards or maybe a collection after you get all 30 of the team affinity uh stage four cards which again is just assumed to be finest at this point by myself and many others um i think that is a pretty strong possibility uh that there's going to be tiered collections as i was just showing you how they had it last year i think it's gonna work pretty similar and i'm honestly anticipating that we're gonna get 99 overalls i don't see there's any way that they aren't all 99s if they are in team affinity uh because again at this point uh they're being pretty loose with overalls. It's like a 18 year old whore. They are stretched out. Uh, they are stretching these overalls into unforeseen, un explored places at this point like Ferdinand Magellan of uh, boosting overalls on uh, guys that maybe don't deserve it but it's cool it's nice to actually have a lot of options believe me not complaining uh, just trying to make a horribly timed joke uh, so yeah I think what they're going to do is make them all 99s regardless uh, 
will have maybe, I don't know, not the Rays aren't the best example. Great team, but not a whole lot of guys that really jump off the page on the MLB.com stat, sh uh, stat section. Uh, so one that does maybe is, um, I don't know, the Blue Jays. A horrible team affinity this year. A guy like Teoscar Hernandez, assumingly that he's not going to get one of the locks. Um, he's a 99, much more deserving so than maybe a guy with the Orioles like, uh, actually the Pirate, Colin Moran. A guy like Colin Moran or Cabrian Hayes that probably don't deserve a 99 overall card. I think that's probably what's going to happen. I'd be surprised if we see anything different. And uh, yeah, these have been available to get for some time, but the fact that they've waited so long uh, till after the season, we know it's not coming to Foreland. Uh, I'm almost going to guarantee that it is going to be finest for stage four, and we're going to see the first couple cards in the 10th inning program. Uh, so yeah, let me know who you guys think some of the locks are going to be, and hopefully we do get the voting process. Even if it is stage four for finest, it's not guaranteed that we're going to get the vote. But it was so well received last year, and it really puts uh, the ball in our court, the, the ball in our field uh, on who we actually want to have, which I think is a great idea. Again, it's something that the other ultimate team modes are probably going to steal at some point. That's just, uh, just paving the way uh, when it comes to that. Uh, but I think it's a great idea, and I think it's going to be a lot similar. Otherwise, I do believe ranked seasons, we're getting a new car relatively soon a couple of weeks from now so uh define soon i suppose anyway uh, i think that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video in conclusion we're gonna have four to eight cards four for sure probably eight coming on tuesday for the championship series make sure to keep grabbing those cards play those moments uh, i've been collecting pretty much er uh, all the postseason cards because they are going to be used for the World Series collection, which is going to be coming on October 30th. Uh, so very excited for that. Again, let me know your predictions of Braves and Dodgers. Oh, baby, is it going to be nice to have a night of watching baseball, but not having to fucking worry about, is my team going to make the World Series? Uh, how much are we going to get clowned on for blowing 3-0 lead? Uh, anyway, if you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to leave a like down below. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. There goes some Saudi.